up to me, Germany. We're finally the 90s. So I was out here in the shop and thinking, hmm, this might be a good film. So I'm trying to remove the stickers off a of Guitar Hero guitar. And if any of you guys have ever tried, they are a bear. I mean, they're made to be there forever. Against the Cheeto fingers, against the sweat, against the Mountain Dew running down your hands, all the monster, some of you adult substances, all that stuff. They're made to last. Now there's a trick to getting them off. Let's find out. Uh, this whole guitar was covered with stickers. Um, a little late to getting you guys to the show, and I apologize about that. But I was about halfway through, and I figured, you know what? I should get this. It'd be a good tutorial. Anyhow, these stickers are made to last forever. Now, they have this film on them. You know, it's kind of strong, like, like window tint almost. Each sticker of these kits have that on them, like that. Sort of, if you could imagine that. So... The trick is to get some kind of penetrant to go around it, like an adhesive remover around the perimeter, to be able to lift that. And then once you get it under there, you can either pull it off with tweezers or some sort of thing like that. That is the main trick. Now, once you get this off, the um, process would be similar to removing stickers off about anything. However, these things are still just, I mean, they're tough as nails, guys. They are strong. So, you know, it does help to have tools at hand, which I already lost mine. So, I will grab another one. I have no idea. Oh, there it is. It's right in front of me. Look at that. I had a blue one earlier and lost it. Grabbed a green one. Anyways, these little scrapers work wonders to save your fingers. I like to wear gloves because I don't like my nails nasty. Probably about to be called a sissy. And that's all right. Um, usually, I would use this or even stronger, but definitely at least 91 or above. I have some 99 down there, but... I didn't know what that would do to the plastic finish. Now, we can use the 99. We could use the 91, which I have here in a mixture. But lately, I've also found that this guy right here. This guy right here, man, he works wonders. Now, you've seen I already had the, the clear part removed from that earlier. And this has been soaking already with a little of this here. Just a little bit's all it takes. Um, you want to get under there and penetrate. Now, you can kind of see here also. Can you see where this... I was kind of, uh, yeah, I can kind of see it on film. Around here, that color is way, it's almost yellow or tan compared to, say, right here in the middle. This is white. This is like tan, white, tan, white, tan. That's because our goods, our buddies, are already working their way under there and going to town. So they're working on that adhesive. See that coming? And see, this is still tough. I mean, this is still tough. Oh, there's more of the clear, so I didn't even get it all the first time. But, that's the trick. You gotta get that stuff off. After that, you apply more, you know, remover. More adhesive remover, whatever you're using, whatever solvent you want to use. Like I said, this is WD-40 as well as some of the 91. Kind of just play with it, see which one works best in your situation. But I'm telling you... These things are strong. I don't really like the goo guns and stuff. I mean, I've used them, but a lot of times those things are harsh, man. And they'll, they'll mess up the finish on something. They kind of leave a film. So if any of that stuff would run down in here, you know, that'd be bad for business. But honestly, you can use WD-40 to clean electrical parts, like inside of a car, like a window switch. And you can obviously use, you know, the 91 Plus on electrical. So if anything drips down in there, it will not be the end of the world. Blow it out with a little air when you're done, and everything will be all great. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, why are you even taking them off? Just just sell it with it on there. Yeah, I could. And honestly, it probably doesn't make much of a difference on the price point. But I just like to send stuff out looking nice, man. You know, as best as possible. If these would have been on here, like, very nice, tastefully done. <laughs> I mean, at least to me, I guess that's an opinion. But if they, you know, at least the condition, I'll put it that way. If they would not have been peeling up, you know, or fraying or whatever. But a couple of these had, like, frays on them and was coming up and... It'll just look way cleaner and neat, especially being white. This thing's going to be beautiful when it's done. It'll just look better to sell. I, I like that. You know. Now, you see this here is coming off pretty good. See that? I mean, it might not look like because my finger's covering it, but I just took most of that sticker off. So, you know, the, the trick is to get that film off first. So once you get the film off, it can still be a bear. Like I said, these things were made to last. You know, that they weren't made to peel off and rub off. So, And also something else, especially on this guitar here... This plastic is like a, it's like a matte finish. It's not real glossy. So, you know, that, that glue really just grabbed on that and adhered, adhered very well. I'm going to just let it go. We'll get back to you in a few minutes. Oh, 
oh, I would like to jump in right here and say, uh, yes, I'm sure there's other methods to this. This is the best method I've found. Applying some heat works great. If you got a heat gun lying around, hair dryer, it'll help lift that. All right, speed up time again. I want to cut in right here and just show you guys. Now you've seen, like I said, I had alcohol and WD-40 on here penetrating this stuff. The clear plastic is gone, the clear film. And this shit is still coming off like that. Like, I mean, it's, it's shredding off. It, this stuff is so tough. It's not a regular paper sticker, like a price tag from a thrift store or something. I mean, this stuff is, like I said, man, it's a bear. It's made to put it with them Cheeto fingers, you know what I mean? Sweaty, snot-nosed kids and stuff like that. So, you can see where I'm slowly working at the bit. Just kind of, almost like filing or chiseling at it with this guy. Because I like my fingernails and my fingers and my hands. But, time and patience. And when you find that you might be getting to a, a spot where it's just like, man, I don't think I'm cutting it. All my friends have dried up. Let's add a little more. And this stuff's kind of funky looking. I don't know if you can tell by the camera. It almost has a tan, brown, dirty color to it. Usually it says crystal clear. I was dipping my toothbrush in there the other day when I was cleaning a board. Shouldn't have done that. Should have just poured it out into a separate bowl or something. But that's all right. Okay, so we're back. Uh, time lapse right now as I'm talking for when I started showing you from this view is 13 minutes and 11 seconds to take off. What, well, we have three? So that's real time, guys. You know, three, four minutes of sticker is pretty realistic. And I had a start on those prior. That just shows what these things are. But look at that. I mean, that, that's, to me, is way better looking. I know this lighting's terrible. I'm sorry. It's what, it's what we're working with. Sorry for the crackling. That's my Kroger bag with all my trash in it. All these nasty stickers that are sort of on here, sort of not. I'm going to get this thing all cleaned up looking brand new or as brand new as possible. We'll see you in a few. Y'all got twisted where you live? <laughs> I know it's just fancy Kool-Aid, but I like it. Okay, that was a short little vid on how to get stickers off. I probably like stickers, ain't that big of a deal, but as you've seen, it was a big deal. Those stickers are a bear. This is one of them cleaning videos I do, so we have other ones where we take consoles apart, we take cartridges apart. I'll show you guys how we run the disc through the disc cleaner. Method's a little different than what they tell you on the actual paperwork. That's okay. I'm gonna use, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there, man. I use the rain bean method. Rain bean, what's up? I rock with you, man. Love your videos. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe. We're doing all the above. We do all that kind of stuff. We go hunt, we go find, give you little tips on reselling, collecting from here forward. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe. There'll be plenty more coming. Peace. <laughs>